So let's talk about how to calculate the pH of a weak base solution. So let's try to do uh, example 15.12. So find the uh, hydroxide concentration and the pH of a 0 0.1 molar uh, ammonia solution. Now NH3, that's ammonia. Now, let's rewrite this. Okay, let's rewrite this how I would ask the question, okay? So that you know, you know, what to expect, okay? So if I were writing this uh, question like on for homework or for a quiz or exam, okay, I wouldn't have an, it's not an example, okay? I usually don't have a title for my questions, okay? I'm not very um, authoritarian like uh, Tro is. It's like, find the hydroxide concentration. That's, the, whoa, whoa, let's slow down. How about, uh, what is? Doesn't that sound so much better? What is? Rather than find it or else. All right. I mean, even if I had a little more room, I would say, dear student, if you have time, what is the pH? OK. So now this is a question. And so uh, for all of these, that's pretty much uh, how I, I would do it. What is the pH of this solution? So that's one of the first things you're going to have to think about is what type of solution do you have? Do you have strong acid, weak acid, strong base, or um, weak base? Strong acids, you know the three that I'll ask you about, HCl, sulfuric, and nitric. Okay, weak acids would be any other acids. And then what else is a telltale sign that uh, a... a um, Acid is a weak acid. Well, for acids first. All right, so let's look back at this problem. <laughs> okay, find the P again. Find the pH. Well, this would be what is the pH uh, of this nitrous acid solution? It had a Ka. Weak acids have a Ka. Right, that's the number one thing. If something has a Ka, you know it's an acid. Ka. And if it's, it sets up equilibrium, you know it's weak. So what do you think uh, weak bases have? A KB. We call it a KB. A we equilibrium constant for a KB. So here is um, ammonia right here. Here's the equation. Well, we need to write that. It happens to be 1.76 times 10 negative fifth. Okay. So I would also give that to you in the equation or in the question. So what is the hydroxide and pH of this solution? I would say. OBTW, oh by the way, the KW, the KB of ammonia is 1.76 times 10 to the negative, was it fifth or fourth? Hmm. Fifth. See, I'm very hip, OBTWs. I know how, I know the lingo. Oh, by the way, right? Okay. I mean, you could, but oh, by the way, that sounds so much, so much better. All right, so that's how you know it's going to be a weak base. And then, of course, you know, conceptually, uh, you could have uh, probably tried to guess that. That's a molecule, it's a nitrogen-containing molecule, like Edward said. So that's probably going to be a weak base as well. But the KB is the, you know, Seals the deal. Hey, that's a weak base. So KA is a weak acid. Weak acid. KA is weak acid. KB is weak base. And strong acids don't base don't have equilibrium. They don't. Yeah, strong acids and strong bases do not have equilibrium constants because they don't set up equilibrium. All right. So very similar to our weak acid uh, problem. What is the pH of that nitrous acid solution? We're going to have to set up an ice table. It's essentially, what this is. That's my initial concentration. I want to find out the equilibrium concentration of my hydroxide. So we're also going to, if we're going to set up the ice table, we're going to need to know our reaction, our equation for our reaction. All right, so ammonia is our weak base. What's it going to react with in water? I kind of gave it away. It's going to react, what is it going to react with in water? With water. Turns out in water it will react with water. Yep. Because there happens to be a lot of water in water. Okay. 
So yeah, it's, it'll bump into a water molecule here and then. And since it's a base, it's a weak base, it's going to set up equilibrium. And then since it's a base, what's it going to do? It's going to produce OH magnets and accept a proton, right? So it accepts a proton from water to make NH, got an extra hydrogen, NH, and then it's plus because it's a proton. And then once water donates that proton, what's left? OH minus, good, the hydroxide. All right, so that's my equation for which I can write my equilibrium constant expression. That will be my Kb. <coughs> which will be products. NH4 plus times hydroxide all over ammonia. All right, so if I set up my ice table, my initial concentration of ammonia is 0 0.100. Water's not in my equilibrium expression, so I don't really uh, care about it now. Now initially, before anything happens, not even let me go through the whole thing. Initially, before anything happens, ammonia hasn't even bumped into a water molecule yet. What's the initial concentration of ammonia, ammonium, NH4 plus? Zero. Zero. All right, and so essentially what I'm trying to do is fill out the rest of this table, right? What's the initial concentration of hydroxide? About zero, good catch. So for the purposes of this calculation, we can assume it's zero, but remember, auto-ionization of water, so it'll be 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh, okay? But, all right, so after they start bumping into each other, what's gonna happen to the concentration of ammonia? Is it gonna go down or up? Go down. Do I know how much? X. What's going to happen to my concentrations of ammonium and hydroxide? It's going to go up. Don't know how much? X. And so 0 0.1 minus X, X, and X. So I've got my equilibrium line. I'm going to plug it into my equilibrium constant. And so now I'll have X times X, X squared all over 0 0.100 minus x. <coughs> yes? And we use the, uh, the uh, x is small thing in the end of the calculation to represent uh, ionization. Well, uh, can we? So first thing is, should we even think about using the x is small approximation? That was a little premature. I was going to go, oh no! We have to use a quadratic formula. So you gotta let me do my thing first, and then you can ask about that. <laughs> All right. It's okay, it's okay. All right, so can we do the x is small approximation? So what do we compare? Initial concentration 0.1 to the Kb, 1.76 times, 1 times 10 to negative five. Is that a small number? Yeah, so that's, you know, 100,000 times smaller. So yeah, I would uh, definitely uh, bet that we can use the exit small approximation, and heck, I'm not even going to calculate percent error. Ooh, okay. I'll definitely have to edit that out. Uh, but, no, that's really small. We're, we're going to be, we're, we're good to go. <coughs> They're going to find this video on YouTube. Gonna, we got a rogue professor not checking percent error. Okay. 
Trove's going to form a team, come find me. Mm -hmm. Find. Okay, so we got x to the small. And so now I got uh, kb equals x squared all over 0 0.100. Multiply both sides by 0.1. So I got 0 0.100 times KB equals X squared. Take square root of both sides. Is that what I heard? In my head? Square root of 0 0.100 times KB. And so now I'll throw in that KB, which, oh, by the way, is 1.76 times 7. Negative fifth. I've probably taught in this building for like eight years, all right? I always teach on the first floor, like one of these rooms. And that's where I always forget there's a second floor until I hear somebody talk, walking over. It's like whenever you hear somebody pound, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a second floor. Like when's it going to sink in? I just don't go up there. I should go up there. I don't even know if I've ever been in the second floor. What's up there? Just classrooms? <laughs> okay. Probably not. Are they better classrooms? They are? Oh, man. They have windows. Bro. They have windows. They have rocks. <laughs> no. Christian. I got um, 1.33 times 10 to the negative third. 1.33 times 10 to the negative third. Yes, yes. All right. So what is that? So that's x. All right. So for our purposes, though, what are we really interested in finding? OH. OH. So yep, that's our hydroxide concentration. One point three three times ten to negative third molar. All right, and then we also want to find. Uh, so we got the OH. Now we're going to find the pH. <coughs> All right. So what do we do first if we've got the hydroxide? POH. So where do you think I'm going to find put? All right, I'll sneak it in. No. I'll do it over here. So POH equals negative log of the hydroxide, right? Negative log of that 1.33 times 10 to the negative third. Two point eight seven. Two point eight eight. So how would you like uh, how do we go from POH to PH? Fourteen minus POH. Good. So that equals 14 minus 2.88. Wait, what? 1.2? 1.12? Should we highlight it? I'm going to. Too late. It's highlighted. Uh, so this one was this one get uh, whoa. One too many, but it's close. It's rule. I said when in doubt. I'm not in doubt. 
more, most of the time, yes. But so I went for three sig figs here for 2.88, and then I kept the decimals for the subtraction. I would have accepted 11.1. 4.2? No, not so much. 11.1, 11.2. All right, so that's how we do weak bases. Very similar to uh, weak acids in that we're going to set up our equilibrium, set up an ice table, but instead of finding hydronium, we're looking for hydroxide because that's what bases make. And then we're going to do the whole pOH, then pH 